People ask me all the time how concerned they should be about the Delta variant. The variant is certainly the worst version of the coronavirus we've seen, but it's not the worst version that's possible. I'm Aria Bendix, and I'm a senior science and health reporter at Insider. Coronaviruses are constantly mutating. I like to think of it as they're taking on new outfits, but it's still the same virus wearing the clothing. So the Delta variant is essentially a new outfit that the coronavirus has put on. It's a more transmissible than earlier versions of the virus, and that's because it has a few key mutations in its spike protein, which is the part of the virus that helps it invade our cells. So we're not sure exactly how contagious the Delta variant is, but we do know that it's more contagious than previous versions of the virus. So to put that into real terms, the original version of the virus, if it infected one person, that person might go on to infect two to three others on average. Now we're seeing with a Delta infection, on average, someone is probably infecting six to seven others. Delta represents the majority of coronavirus cases right now, the vast majority in the United States. So we can safely assume that if you're getting infected at this point in time, it's likely the Delta variant. Not every hospital or testing site is actually submitting a sample for sequencing, which means uh, they're able to tell what variant has infected a person. And even then, there are sort of federal regulations that prevent that information from being disclosed to patients and doctors. UK researchers have been asking more than a million people to log their symptoms into an app as part of a study called the COVID Symptom Study. And that study indicated that recently the five most common symptoms associated with the coronavirus among fully vaccinated people are a headache, runny nose, sore throat, loss of smell, and sneezing. And people who aren't vaccinated are more likely to have some of those severe symptoms such as a fever or a persistent cough. We're in a really unfortunate position in the U.S. right now where vaccines haven't been authorized for children under the age of 12. And at the same time, many schools across the country are resuming for in-person learning. We still have good evidence that masks are effective tools at preventing transmission in schools, but we know that many schools, particularly in states like Texas and Florida, aren't enforcing mask requirements, and that does make children under 12 more vulnerable to infection. So there's no reason to believe that immunity works any differently with the Delta variant than with previous versions of the virus. But we do know that people who have had COVID-19 before are more likely to be reinfected because of the Delta variant. Scientists do have their eye on another variant called Lambda because that variant has shown in laboratory studies to be able to partially evade the protection from our vaccines. But right now, we really wanna look at which variant is dominant in the US, and that gives us an indication of which variant is most fit and therefore most concerning. And right now, Delta is overwhelmingly the dominant variant in the US.